It won't be for long. Just long enough for them to find out what's going on. Please don't leave me here. Just for a couple of days. You'll see, time will go by fast. Susan, we need to go. There's no reason to drag this out. Be brave, darling. You're strong. I know you're strong. But here we have a better chance of understanding what's happening. We can find a way to protect you. Nobody can protect me. Your belongings are in that bag over there. Cole and I are right next door. If you need anything or if anything's wrong, just call and we'll come right away. Okay. can't take it anymore. All right, uh, first, there was the invisible friend she keeps talking to, right? and then there was stuff moving around the house by itself, and now these things that are attacking her in the middle of the night? Philip, I know it's difficult, no, but I... You don't understand. We're done. We quit. Uh, hey, tell her we have to go away. I, I don't even really care, but there is no way she's coming back home with us, okay? We want our normal she's life just back. a child. You're the only family she's got. She needs you. You can't dump her just like that. She'll get over it. But we are done pretending. Okay? Now you tell her, or I'll tell her. Give me some time. Let me figure it out. You don't take too long, Nathan. Come on, Susan. Coffee? Sure. Looks like we're gonna be in for a long night. All right. Find somewhere to change. I hope they haven't put cameras in here, too. Do you know when the attack started? Her mother told me that they had been going on for months. At first, she thought there were nightmares and that she would get used to it. But then she realized there was more to it than that. Marks on her body. They look like scratches or bites. You see where these wounds are located? She couldn't have done this. And it doesn't look like child abuse. If she's telling the truth, maybe something is trying to kill her. Whatever the case, that's one brave little girl. 
She's got a very interesting psychological profile for a kid her age, that's for sure. I'm gonna turn out the light now. Good night, Jody. Wait. Can you leave the light on in the hall? I don't like it when it's dark. Sure. How's that? Good. Good night. Night. Don't be afraid, Aiden. We're gonna have a good night's sleep. And nothing is going to happen. I can't sleep, Aiden. I think I need a story. Jody! Get a doctor! Hurry! It's okay. It'll be all right now. Hayden isn't scared of them anymore.
I said no. End of story. Please, Nathan, just this once. All the other girls in my class are going, and I won't be late. I promise, okay? You're wasting your breath, Jody. It's just not fair. How come everyone can go and I can't? I do everything you ask of me all week, and I never get to have any fun. For the hundredth time, you're not like everyone else, and there are rules. Well, I didn't ask to be different. I just want to go out and, and have friends and be like other girls my age. You'll never be like them. You need to get used to that. Good night. I'll be next door. Let me know if you need anything. Cody? This is not gonna do you any good. You're grounded. Period. It's Saturday night, and I'm locked up in here! Come on, I just wanna go out and have some fun! I can't do it, babe. Rules are rules. Please. Come on, Cole. Please, please let me out just this once. Why do you have to tell Nathan everything? I'm sorry, princess, but I can't. It's not my call. better than to use Aiden when you're angry. Are you done? Are you proud of yourself? I hope so, because you have to clean all that up. We break everything in this goddamn room. If that's not gonna work, we have to figure out what will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's calm down. She's back at the apartment. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Cole. I hate myself for doing this, but... You understand, right? I just... I need to go out tonight.
Yeah, I know. It's too late to turn back now. Locked. Of course it is. Well, hello, Cole. Jody. A little late for day trip, isn't it? C Cole was just, um, taking me to see the shooting stars. A apparently there's, like, tons up there tonight. Have you seen them yet? Listen, I don't know if Professor Dawkins would be all right with you going outside in the middle of the night. Please. I mean, it's only going to be, like, a few minutes, and Cole is with me. I, I, I've never seen a shooting star. All right. Go ahead, I'll pretend I never saw you. What's up, Cole? Cat got your tongue? Hmm? He, uh, he's in a really bad mood. I mean, he hasn't even said a word all day. Uh. He, he lost. He, he lost his voice. I think it's like a a virus or something. So, I mean, that's more than that's more than I've gotten out of him all all day long. So. Hope it's not contagious, buddy. You should be home in bed if you ask me. Safer for all of us. All right, well. See ya. Go on now. Well, at least we don't have to look for Cole's car. There's cameras everywhere. Better not hang around here too long. Now get in the car and start it up. sight. You'll forgive me, right? I'll be back soon. And don't worry, I'll be fine. Okay, 
Aiden, take him into the forest. Make sure he's safe. Well, this is the place. The girls must be inside already. They're not here yet. We'll wait. How old are you, miss? I'm 21. I just want to eliminate. How old you think she is? Fifteen? Maybe sixteen. Oh. What is she doing in here on her own? I don't know. Maybe she's looking for our cup. <laughs> What you doing in here all on your own, son? Nothing. You're trying to hustle me, girl? Truth be told, you look kind of young to be in here. How old are you? Um, I'm 21. Whoa, I'm impressed. Your parents know you're in here? 
Yeah. Sure, they, they dropped me off. I mean, they'll be back. I'm, I'm sure they'll be back soon to... to pick me up. Hey! Back off! Come on, baby, you know you want to. spirit come to punish us for our sins shut the fuck up frank that's bullshit <laughs> fuck it all i don't want to die <laughs> nobody's dying we're getting the fuck out of here <laughs> jesus jesus what the fuck are you doing sam open the goddamn door it's jammed it's stuck get out of the way i'll break it down Jody! My God. Are you all right? Good God, what happened? I just wanted to go out. Don't you be like everyone else for once? Oh, I know, I know. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, Jody, so I'm just going to tell you. Your mom and I, we've been transferred. We have to leave the base. We really want to take you with us, but we think... Everyone thinks that it would be better for you to stay here with Professor Dawkins. Of course, we'll come to see you whenever it's possible. And when you're better, you'll join us in our new home. Okay? Well, I think it's for the best. Goodbye, dear. a minute, Philip. <sighs> I 
That's enough. Come on. But you made the right decision. <laughs> 